The phrase this feature should be illegal in Python often refers to Python's dynamic typing, which allows for a lot of flexibility but can lead to bugs and unexpected behavior if not managed carefully. While dynamic typing is a fundamental feature of Python, it can lead to situations where type-related errors only surface at runtime, making debugging more difficult. Let's delve into Python's dynamic typing, illustrate its potential pitfalls with code examples, and discuss best practices to mitigate these issues. Understanding dynamic typing in Python in Python variables do not have a fixed type. Instead, a variable can be re-signed to any type of object. This flexibility can lead to situations where a variable's type is not what you expect, potentially causing runtime errors. Example of dynamic typing pitfalls consider the following example Python def add out. Return abusing the function correctly result at 5, 10 this works fine print result of adding integers. Result using the function incorrectly result add hello world. This also works fine print result of adding strings. Result a problematic case result add 5, 10 this will raise an error print result of adding integer and string. Result output result of adding integers 15 result of adding strings hello world. Trace back most recent call last file example p line 10 in module result add 5, 10 this will raise an error file example p line 2 in add return up to peer or unsupported operand types for int and str explanation of the example 1. Dynamic behavior the function add can take different types of arguments integers and strings and Python will handle them accordingly. However combining an integer and a string leads to a type error which only manifests at runtime. Late error detection if the add function were to be called with an integer and a string the error would not be detected until that line is executed, making it potentially harder to debug. Best practices to avoid dynamic typing pitfalls to mitigate the risks associated with dynamic typing consider the following best practices 1. Type annotations use type hints to specify expected types for function parameters and return values. This helps with readability and can be checked using static type checkers like MIPI. Input validation perform type checks within your functions to ensure that the correct types are being used. Within your offensives, use of optional type checking utilize Python's built-in eyes instance function to enforce type checks Python def add a, if not as instance add, int float or not eyes instance, int Float raise to appear or both arguments must be integers or floats return up conclusion while Python's dynamic typing offers significant flexibility. It can lead to runtime errors that may be difficult to do. Significant by employing type annotations, validating inputs, 
and using type checking functions, developers can write more robust and maintainable code. Always keep in mind the trade-offs between flexibility and type safety when using dynamic typing in Python. By following these best practices, you can leverage Python's dynamic features while minimizing the risks associated with them.